When Sam Altman was asked, "Are we in a bubble?" he said, "Yes, we might be in a bubble." How does the AI economics are really working? So I'll give you a simple example. Meet Manav Garg. He is the founder of Together Fund, which is the visionary firm fueling India's most explosive AI companies. Today, they back massive outliers in the market, including Emergent, which is the Indian startup that hit a staggering 15 million dollars in ARR in just 90 days. And today, he is joining us to expose the terrifying speed with which AI evolution is happening, and he is handing us a survival guide for a world where you either catch the wave or you simply drown. See, the next wave of opportunity will come in. Look at Google, the largest company on this planet in terms of search, highest market share. It's trying to think through how will search experience totally collapse, right? So therefore, the war has gone to browser. I'm able to envision. two businesses talking to each other using agents and that by itself becoming a product in that case what has happened is zomato swiggy zepto has lost the customer access so i think that's going to be a big fight is going to be who's going to own the customers in this subjective world how do you go there and find a problem that is worth solving using ai it's a brilliant question actually if software is going to become a commodity how much time will it take somebody else with a similar skill set to create a similar application that is one framework i use I just want to tell the founders out there: don't ignore Indian market. See, India is the second largest market for OpenAI. Even for Gamma, nine million users out of seventy million are Indians. What would you advise a student who is in engineering right now and is twenty-one years old? If an entrepreneur wants to get funded by Together Fund, how should they approach you, and what should they prepare before they come to you? How do I not get killed because of a single OpenAI update?